hello and welcome back to my channel again and here i will be demonstrating about the second video series of kubernetes deployment on uh, using jenkins ci cd pipelines so as we discussed in the previous video like we need three servers for one for jenkins one for uh, ansible and one for kubernetes cluster so in uh, because one for kubernetes cluster because we have decided to use mini cluster in this right in the real project scenario see if you you will not be building your image docker images over the ansible server right you will have some separate uh, server for that okay and from the server you will create build the images using docker file and you will push those images to the docker hub but in my case what i am trying to do i am taking making use of the sensible server itself where i will be building the images here itself and uh, after building the images i will push it to the docker hub and along with that this ansible server will run the playbook so that will uh, that will execute the kubectl command of the kubernetes cluster and it will uh, uh, it will fetch the latest image from the docker hub which we have pushed so you can see a uh, docker is required on both of the server like here for building the image and on the kubernetes cluster for fetching the image right and while pushing the image from the ansible server make sure that you have logged into the docker docker hub account on your ansible server right so let's let's just go ahead and let's cre start creating three easy to instances and one more thing i would like to convey you if you are uh, setting up a kubernetes cluster using minikube right then you have to install t2 micro t2 medium for that sorry t2 medium make sure okay so that much load it uh, has to take right so make sure that you are using t2 medium size for the third ec2 instance for this jenkins and ansible a t2 micro is enough right so let's just go ahead to our aws portal and let's start creating three server right okay so i don't have any running instance i am clicking on launch so in my case i am going to use this ubuntu server you can see ubuntu server 18.04 okay so let's just go ahead and select okay so t2 micro size we are selecting here you can see okay so just click on configuration okay so here number of vms should be two right one for the uh, uh, your uh, jenkins and one for your ansible so i have given number as two just click on next storage and next let's uh, take some big size right little much okay so this is fine okay just let's just go to the tag section let's go to the yes security group section and here please select uh, for all traffic right okay so for the demo purpose i am selecting this but going forward make sure that which pro which protocol you have to enable just make sure that you are enabling that only okay so i have chosen this just click on review and launch okay so click on launch so here in my case i have already one ansible rsa key so i am taking use of making use of that only the existing just click on launch instance let's just wait for a moment until it is done let's just go ahead and create our cube third vm okay okay just select this so as i have discussed earlier for running the mini cubes single node cluster you need this t2 medium size just click on that make sure that you are choosing this t2 medium um, i have selected just go to the configuration okay next add tags configuration security group make sure you are selecting the same as you have selected earlier reviews and launch i'm using the same key just click on launch instances let me pause the video let me come back when all the servers are up and running okay so all servers are up and running let's rename this so that it will be easy for us to identify okay so i'm giving this okay this is our jenkins okay what happened this is jenkins server this is ansible and one more t2 medium this is for kubernetes cluster right let me rename it as the back so this is done okay so next task is what i'm going to install uh, uh configure install and configure all the server like for jenkins okay let me log into the jenkins vm let's take the uh, 
public IP of that. This is our Jenkins server. Just log in by keeping giving your username here. So once this is done, just clear the screen. Control L and be the super user. Okay. Once this is done, let's go ahead and let's install uh, our uh, Jenkins server. I will provide this link in the description so that you can download it easily. So let me, for the time constraint, let's let us do this. Okay. okay. Now let's update the system. Once the system is updated, let's go ahead and let's install. So you can see now our Jenkins is up and running. So let's take the IP of this Jenkins server. Let's go back here. I took the IP of this and here by default the TAT port you have to provide here. Okay, so you can see it is coming up. So once this is done, it will ask you for the password. Just go to this location here, control L. Let me cat it let's paste the location and let's take this is the password of your administrator here let's copy the password and let's just go back there and provide the password here and yes. if you don't know how to install jenkins please watch out my previous video you will have a better understanding what are the prerequisites and all for this also so that it will help you a lot it started installing all the plugins so let let me just pause this video it will take a little time Provide any name here. Okay. Provide any email. No problem. So our Jenkins server is up and running. Okay. So here what we have to do, we have to install a plugin that is called public over SSH. Let's go there. Click on man. Then just click on manage plugin option okay just click on available and search for public ssh So just select this and install without restart. So once it is done, just let just restart this. Okay. So once it is up, let's log in. So our one server is ready, right? Uh, this Jenkins servers. Now in the same way, we have to install uh, Ansible. And Ansible, what are the things we have to install? Python, Ansible, and Docker. And on the Kubernetes, many cubes, we need a Docker and uh, this mini cube. So let me just go ahead and let me log into the Ansible server now. And this Kubernetes cluster as well. Let's just start installing all this thing. Once we have logged into the, to the Ansible server, let's just be a super user. Okay, once this is done, let's just create a cell script for the time being. Okay, so I'm going to create a cell script nano. Uh, this is the file name along with that, and I'm going to paste this control X. Okay, once this is done, let's, let's just go ahead and let's just execute the cell script. Some issue came. Let's just go inside the Ansible. Okay, so here some extra string is there okay hit enter now let's just go ahead and let's just execute this okay let me come back when this is executed so let's do one thing let's just go to the last server which is our kubernetes cluster let's just uh, configure their mini cube okay so let me just log into the, my uh, kubernetes cluster and let me install all the things okay so this is our 
Kubernetes cluster here due to medium size. Okay. This is the IP, this is the key. Okay, well, this is done. Let me just change. Okay. So Ansible has been successfully installed on the Ansible server. Let's just go ahead and let's go to our third server, which is this, our Kubernetes server. Let's just see. I have created for the time being, I, we, I have created two cell script. So let's just execute one by one. That is first uh, our Docker is the prerequisite, right? Let's just go ahead and let's install this. So it is still getting executed. Okay, so if it is done, let's just check the Docker version here okay so docker has been in installed successfully right let's just go ahead and let's execute the second cell script okay okay let's wait until this is done it will take too much time you can now see you can see here right this now many cube is getting started so it is taking some time okay let me pause this video and let me come back once this is done so okay after the installation you will get something like this let's just execute this both command it is saying to run okay so this is done let's just go ahead and let's run the second command okay this is the second command okay once this is done let's check kubectl get nodes okay so this is working fine right so okay so installation part i think we have done right with the installation part okay so we have our three set of instances along with the services running over it okay so let's see uh, how we can uh, trigger a job from git to the jenkins using webhook in the third video of this series okay so keep watching and please uh, do like if you get find this video helpful and help helpful and consider subscribing if you really want to get uh, things like this okay thanks for watching